All right, just gonna do a video calling out this wicked devil named uh, Ribbon Israel. I've done videos on him exposing him in the past and his wickedness and profanity and just vile behavior. Uh, he's a street preacher, he's a cult leader, and he is not a representative of the body of Christ. He is a lost devil who is doing more damage to the body of Christ than good. And I'm gonna show this video of him preaching outside of a mosque where he is not giving the gospel and not presenting Jesus Christ, but instead just picking fights, arguing, uh, being provocative, being arrogant, and not giving the gospel. You see, I'm a critic of Islam. Okay, I, I am critical of Islam. This is not this video is not meant to be a defense of Islam, but the way the way that Reuben Israel is behaving just shows his wicked, corrupt fruit that he does not have the fruits of the spirit. He just has the lust of the flesh. Why? Because he's not a saved man. He's a lost devil leading people to hell with this false gospel of Roman Catholic works. Because he's just preaching Roman Catholicism. His gospel is works-based all the way through. It is not the biblical gospel. And Reuben Israel is every bit as lost as these Muslims that he is mocking and picking fights with and poking fun at. Okay, you're going to see in this video absolute wickedness from Reuben Israel. And of course, it's on the wicked devil Richard Pankowski on his channel. But just an example of the kind of wickedness that comes from Reuben Israel. How he's not of the Lord. He is not of the Lord. He is of his father, Satan. The same God that the Muslims pray to. And again, this is not going to be a defense of Islam. Okay? Islam is satanic. It is demonic. But Reuben Israel is doing the works of his father, Satan, by giving, uh, basically bringing reproach upon the body of Christ. Of course, he's not a member of the body of Christ, but he is making it harder for actual members of the body of Christ to go out and present the gospel to Muslims, because then we get lumped in, we get called Islamophobic, and you know when we when you have biblical criticisms criticisms of Islam, uh, we get lumped in with wicked devils like Reuben Israel or some of the Calvinist uh, hyper Calvinist cult members over at the Westboro Baptist Church. So I'm going to show an example of the kind of wickedness that comes from Reuben Israel. Okay, and this should serve as a rebuke. Okay, mark and avoid this wicked devil. He is doing the works of his father Satan. Let's get let's play this video and just watch how he doesn't present the gospel, doesn't doesn't present Jesus Christ. He just pokes fun, makes fun of, mocks, uh, you know, just picks fights with pe these people. He's not given the gospel. He is doing psychological operations to make Bible believers look like a bunch of Islamophobes and, and you name it, all the liberal buzzwords they'd like to use against Bible-believing Bible -believing Christians like myself who express legitimate criticism of Islam. It's the satanic psyop and Reuben Israel, uh, this whole SOPA street preacher conference, all these guys, uh, they're all a bunch of wicked devils. Okay? They're going out on the streets and preaching their false gospel of Roman Catholicism, of work salvation, damning people to hell, making these Muslims two, four more the child of hell than themselves. I'm going to show the video real quick and just show how he's a wicked devil and mark and avoid him. Is the bastard religion. Your religion came from a whore. Time for you to repent. Obey God. You think praying... To God on a carpet is going to mean something. How about you, pal? You uh, want to give me the age of Aisha? Anything? Tap once for yes and no. For twice, uh, no. Tap twice. If you're a little bit embarrassed, are you? I'm not embarrassed of my God, but you guys obviously seem to be embarrassed of your God. And rightly so. Yeah, your God, lowercase g, God, Satan. The same God that the Muslims pray to, Satan. You're just as wicked, Reuben. You've got the fastest growing religion. That's what you boast about. For one reason, because you're chopping people's heads off. That's why. You guys say you're tolerant and you're loving. When was the last time they had a homo parade in Afghanistan, and if you're so loving? When was the last time women were allowed to drive a car? Just recently in Saudi Arabia. And then you call black people raisin heads. That's what your prophet called black people. You guys are the racist... Now, now watch what he says. He uses a liberal terminology these like the words he's going to say are not words that should come out of a bible believing christian's mouth to attack people okay it just shows how carnal and worldly and fleshly this guy is and a blatant example of his sin 
He is not of the Lord. He is of his father, Satan, and the Luciferian Jesuits over at the Vatican. As well as a lot of these SOPA street preachers. They're all a bunch of wicked devils. They're doing uh, reproach to the body of Christ through their wicked Luciferian Jesuitical nonsense. Sexist homophobe and you will burn in hell. Not homophobe is not even a word that should come out of the mouth of a Bible-believing Christian to attack anybody. You know, that, that is just using secular types of arguments on Islam. Again, of course Islam is satanic. I've never denied that. I have many videos on my channel criticizing Islam. I'm not in any way pro- This is not any way a defense of Islam. But Reuben Israel is very, very fleshly and carnal, and he's using these stupid arguments to attack Islam. You know, this is not preaching the gospel. Where is Jesus Christ? Where is, where is presenting a clear message of salvation to them? It's not. It's just picking fights with them and poking fun at them. These guys aren't street preaching. They're street, they're basically, they're not street preachers. They're street papists. They're just Roman Catholics. Okay, they may rebuke the Catholic Church. You know, like when Reuben Israel went to the Catholic Church and, and praised God, his God, Satan, that the priests were molesting little boys. Yeah, that example where he's rebuking Catholics. Uh, but really, they're just of the same wicked spirit as Roman Catholicism, as the Luciferian Illuminati Jesuits over at the Vatican. And they are bringing a reproach upon the body of Christ. Make, mark my words. These people are of their father, Lucifer. I used to live in America, that you got to stay in here and take this. Or oh, if I was living in one of your countries, you'd chop my head off. And most likely with a... Oh, yeah, one other point I want to bring up too, most of these street preachers love to act like, oh, we're, being, we're attacked for our faith. No, you're not being attacked because you're speaking the truth. You're being attacked because you're being provocative and being a, a rude jerk. Okay, if you were preaching the legitimate gospel, you're going to face opposition. Okay, that's just how it works. Okay, marvel not if the world hate you. I think it's John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 13, I believe it is. But these guys are not preaching the gospel. They're just going out and being provocative, and that's why they get attacked. But then, if they get attacked, they'll have to use that, they'll film it, post it on YouTube, to make some celebrity out of themselves. Because they're in it for themselves. That's all they are. They're in it to make a celebrity out of themselves. They are a bunch of self-glorifying, self-righteous, pharisaical, wicked devils. A bunch of Luciferian devils. Continuing. And by the way, if you think I'm being too harsh, um, you know... I reserve a lot of my harsh rebukes for the for wicked Pharisees like Reuben Israel, okay? No, I'm not Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ, a lot of his rebukes, harsh rebukes, were reserved for the religious Pharisees, okay? Regular average sinners, okay? You don't talk like this, like the way Reuben Israel does, to regular average unbelieving Muslims, okay? You are meek and you're humble. To, well, not humble, you're meekness. You have meekness towards them. I'll put it that way, okay? And you're humble about it, okay? You're humbly coming to them and give them the gospel, but with the religious Pharisees like Reuben Israel, yeah, I'm going to be hard on them. Because they are doing reproach to the body of Christ purposely, I believe, for their Luciferian mashes over at the Vatican. It's just an it's just agent provocateur type behavior. So yeah, religious Pharisees, I'm going to be hard on. Why? Because Jesus Christ was really militant and hard and harsh against the Pharisees. But your average sinner, you be meek and you be meek and, and you know gentle towards them. And I'm going to show the scripture on that, that Reuben Israel is in blatant violation of through his wicked pride. That's what it comes down to. These street papists over at Sopa, they're prideful, arrogant child, children of Lucifer. That's all they are. They are children of pride, just like Lucifer. Okay, Job chapter, I believe it's 41 verse 36, talked about that. They are children of pride. And they want to go out and you know, look at me, I'm, I'm doing this. You know, how Rich Pankowski, the guy who did this video right here, Rich Pankowski, he, ha he, he always loves to brag about, oh, we got Dry Queen Story Hour shut down. We, we did this, we did that. Never giving glory to God, but always to himself. And that's just what the people will say, you know, at the, at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, at the judgment of the nations. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, you know, Lord, didn't we do many wonderful works in your name? Didn't we cast out devils in your name and do miracles in your name? Paraphrasing, of course. And what's Jesus going to say to them? Depart from me, I never knew you. You know, Reuben Israel, Rich Pankowski, they're going to come to God and say, hey, you know, didn't we go out, didn't we preach outside the mosque and, re and rebuke the Muslims? Didn't we get Drag Queen Story Hour shut down in your name? Didn't we go out and rail on Muslims and, and rail on, you know, sodomites and rail on everybody else? Didn't we do that? Didn't we do all these wonderful works in your name? Didn't we go out and, you know, uh, go to the sodomite pride event and, you know, just be provocative? Didn't we, uh, you know, pick fights with Antifa? Didn't we go to Black Lives Matter and, and mock them, you know? 
Uh, no, no, I'm not supporting Black Lives Matter, okay? Just keep that in mind. I'm critical of them too. But they're going to say that. Lord, didn't we do all these wonderful works in your name? God's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. You know, you worker of iniquity. And that's what they are. A bunch of wicked workers of iniquity who want to do many wonderful works in God's name, but really it's going to count for nothing at the judgment seat of Christ. Well, no, not the judgment seat. Sorry, my bad. The, uh, the judgment of the nations at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble because they won't be at the judgment seat of Christ because they're not saved. So forgive me on that, Lord. I didn't mean to say that. Continuing. Don't play. Wicked. Perverted are you in God's eyes. You been drinking any of that Sam Sam water there, Muslim boy? Huh? Time for you to repent and obey the God of the Bible. Time for you to know who your neighbor is, people. The Bible says, love your neighbor, but do you even know who your neighbor is? Their prophet Mohammed married a seven-year-old girl, Aisha. Nothing more than a pedophile. Nothing holy about Mohammed. Yeah, and nothing holy about you either, Reuben. Believe me, this guy's got a filthy mouth, believe me. There's nothing holy about him at all. There was a sermon at one time where he used the S word, S-H-I-T, you know, jokingly. Not, it wasn't like it just slipped out. It came out there like, just out of just, like just boldly just came out. There was no shame when he said it. And he makes all, kind, he makes all kinds of graphic, you know, sexual, you know, goes into detail of graphic sexual acts. And same thing with this Jesse Morrell guy I used to follow. I used to follow him back when I was like a, a false convert. These guys are, are, are perverted. A lot of them, they make all kinds of perverted, filthy statements. And I would not be surprised if a lot of them are just perverts behind closed doors because they, they make all kinds of, they say all kinds of wicked, disgusting stuff, you know, that only that really, you know, given the amount of like sexual innuendos they make during their so-called preaching, I would not be surprised if some of these guys maybe are sodomites behind closed doors. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Again, I'm not making accusations. It's just a, a speculation. But give, given how filthy, f how much of a filthy mouth Reuben Israel has, given how much of a filthy mouth a lot of these SOPA street preachers have, you know, I would not be surprised if behind closed doors, there are a bunch of fornicating perverts. Okay? Again, just speculation. But there's nothing holy about Reuben. That's what I was saying earlier. He's got a filthy, profane mouth that is just full of all kinds of wickedness. Just spouting all kinds of iniquity coming out of his filthy, disgusting, devilish mouth. Yeah, I am being harsh, because why? He is a servant of Satan. He is not just your average lost sinner. Okay, your average lost sinner, I'll be meek and, meek and you know, gentle to. But Reuben Israel, you know, he is prideful, he is arrogant, he's been reproved many times, as well as a lot of these other street preachers, and he just, he, know, he knows what he's doing. You know, you reprove him, he'll just smile at you, because he knows what he's doing. So yeah, I'm going to be harsh on him. That's simple. Okay, uh, Titus chapter 1 verses, I believe it's verse 10 to, you know, 14, rebuke them sharply. Matthew chapter 23, read the whole passage. Jesus is ripping on the Pharisees, calling them children of hell. Um, you know, uh, Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 to 9, Paul says to let him be accursed. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 to 17, you know, saying that mark and avoid them. You know, they subvert people. Our second Peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 3, they're bringing in damnable heresies. Their damnation is just. You know, the Bible is strong against these religious Pharisees like Reuben Israel. So if you think I'm being bad, you ought to read your Bible sometime. Read Second Peter chapter 2. Read Galatians chapter 1. Read Matthew 23. Read Matthew 15. Read Matthew chapter 16. Just read most of the New Testament. It's all in there. But it perfectly describes this wicked Pharisee, Reuben Israel. Again, not defending Islam. Okay, Islam is a wicked, false religion. But Reuben Israel is just as wicked. He's, you know, he's every bit as satanic as the God these Muslims pray to. He is a pedophile, and you will soon burn in hell with him. Time for you to repent. Knee down and taking your shoes yeah, off and standing and kneeling on a carpet. <laughs> you think God's going to hear your prayer? You pray to the devil. Yeah, so do you, Reuben. You pray to the devil as well. And you're doing the devil's work right now. You pray to the same devil the Muslims pray to. Okay? Your devil is the Luciferian god of the Roman Catholic Church. That's who your devil is you pray to. And of course, the devil the Muslims pray to is this Arabian lunar idol called Allah. But Reuben Israel is a Satanist. Okay? 
So, and by the way, Ruben, you ought not to be laughing at people going to hell because you're going to that exact same place. Okay? If you don't repent. What a wicked devil this guy is. Again, where where's the gospel? There's no gospel being presented here. It's all just picking fights and mocking and poking fun at these people. No gospel being presented. He is a religious Pharisee and he is to be marked and avoided. One day they might throw a bomb over there. Here's an infidel, pal. What are you going to do? Have a gun, sir. Here's an infidel. So he always likes to say, oh, you're an infidel. Well, quite frankly, it is fitting that Reuben Israel is calling himself an infidel because by biblical standards, he is an infidel. Okay, let me show you what the Bible says because guess what? The word infidel does appear in Scripture. So, considering that Reuben Israel is giving himself that title of infidel, it fits him. Okay, let me show you that. Infidel. Let me show you the word in scripture. Infidel. Oops, spelled it wrong. Oh, and I'll to mention too, uh, another word about this Pinkowski devil. He celebrates Christmas. Christmas, the Roman Catholic holiday. Just serving their god, Lucifer. Uh, Richard Pinkowski, Ribbon Israel, they're all just a bunch of, of Roman Catholic pagans. They may rebuke the Catholic Church. They may not believe all the Mary idolatry, but they're just a bunch of Roman Catholic. They're just basically pawns for the Roman Catholic Church. That's all they are. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, and 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Both verses in the New Testament use the word infidel to refer to unbelievers. And it's interesting, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and especially those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Perfectly describes Rich Pankowski. He's worse than an infidel. He's not just an infidel, he's worse than one. Because he doesn't provide. He sits at, on his lazy butt all day doing his little live streams and then wants people to pay him. He doesn't work. He doesn't provide for his family. He's, he's just a lazy, um, he's just a lazy papist. I'll put it that way. Who just sits on his rear end and does these little live streams, railing on people, mocking people, you know, insulting people, just being very provocative. And he, want, he wants you to pay him. He's a wicked devil. And if you call him out, he'll do all kinds of, like when EJ Love called Rich Pankowski out, he did, Rich Pankowski just slandered him like crazy, created fake, fake fake social media profiles, just lied about him like crazy. This is the fruit of these wicked devils over at the SOPA street preaching cult, okay? It's a Roman Catholic cult. And again, I acknowledge that they'll rebuke Roman Catholics, they'll, they'll go outside Catholic churches and rebuke them, but they're of the same wicked spirit. Continuing. This is what an American Christian looks like. You want to see what uh, one other comment too. He says this is what an American Christian looks like. Yes, you are definitely an American Christian, but you're certainly no Bible-believing Christian. That's for sure. There's certainly no born-again Christian. That, that's definitely evident right here. We do. Here's an infidel right here. Why don't you come and do what you're supposed to do? I'm an infidel. I'm right here. Time for you to repent. Time for you to repent, Reuben. You better repent before I get before it's too late. Before you, before you get, before God sends you to hell, because you are doing damage to the body of Christ. Aisha, how old was Aisha when your prophet married her? You don't shake hands of an infidel. Don't you know what your book says? Don't you know at all what your book says? As if you're really that loving. Why is your religion burning churches? killing people who disagree with you and yet you want to come and shake my hand what a phony and a fraud you are what a phony and a fraud uh where's the gospel where's where's presenting jesus christ to them if you're here to give the gospel to them where is it being presented i, I so far in seven minutes into this video there's not been one bible verse being presented not one where's the scripture Where where's the you know showing people they're a sinner and they need to repent it's not there why? Because they're just a bunch of psychological operation goons who are going out and making Christians look like a bunch of Islamophobic bigots. So to make actual Bible-believing Christians just get labeled a bunch of Islamophobes and make it harder for us to give the gospel to Muslims. That's what they're doing. It's just a bunch of, it's a psychological game and all these street preachers are fitting in just fine. You have Ribbon Israel, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church, you know, Stephen Anderson, he, I know he's not a street preacher, but he fits into the game too. You know, he's like the new Fred Phelps now. Yeah, they all fit in. They're all doing the role, and they're all serving the, the Luciferian purpose of the Vatican and their father, Satan. Okay? That's the thing about these guys. They are of their father, the devil. And I'm going to get to some scripture after I'm done with this video. But watch what he says to this guy. Watch as he, had, he could have had a great chance to give him the gospel, but he doesn't do that. You know? He's a wicked devil. And I know I keep saying that, but just I want to get that drilled in your mind. He is a wicked devil. He's doing the works 
of his Luciferian mashes over at the Vatican. How old was Aisha? How old was Aisha? You want to see that? How old was Aisha when your prophet married her? Look me in the face. Don't look away, you big sissy. How old, look me in the eye. How old was Aisha when your prophet married her? Now look at this. He could have given them the gospel. This, this is a perfect opportunity to give this Muslim the gospel. But what's Reuben doing? Just mocking him, picking fights with him, poking fun at him. These guys are wicked. Can you talk and speak English? Or you're too embarrassed? <laughs> Your prophet married a seven-year-old girl and you think that's a holy man? Have you lost your mind? Oh, believe me, Reuben, you're far from holy. You're just as unholy as Muhammad was. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, let me play, I'm gonna play a little bit more. Then I'm gonna get to the scriptures that rebuke this wicked devil, Reuben Israel. You are wicked. You are wicked. I hope none of you Muslims have a pilot license. You got a pilot license I need to be concerned about? Huh? You got a pilot license I need to be concerned about there, Mohammed? Shouldn't you be at 7-Eleven making a milkshake for somebody? Where's the gospel? There's no gospel. Look, like, Lily, this is a good opportunity to just give him the gospel, but there's no gospel being presented. Because they're making him, sorry, what you, because he's making them two for more the child of hell than himself. What are you doing out here? Wicked and perverted is your religion. Wicked and perverted is your religion. As you're killing Christians, as you're murdering Christians, as you're burning churches, and you think God's going to hear you? Yeah, and, you know, we, I think we've seen enough. We get the picture, okay? This guy's a wicked devil. Okay, let's go play a little bit more just to really show what he's like. How come you haven't answered the simple question? How old was Aisha when Mohammed married her? Huh? How old was Aisha? You're getting pretty close to me. What are you, a homo? What are you, a homo? I mean, we know what you guys do, but are you a, a homo now? You want to get closer to me? Simple question. How? That right there is Ruben Ezra's true colors. No love, no meekness, no wanting to give the gospel just a bunch of bitterness and wrath what does the bible say let me show you some scripture about this because these scriptures i'm going to show perfectly describe this wicked devil this cult leader reuben israel again no i'm not pro-islam no i'm not defending islam i've done like many many videos criticizing islam from a biblical basis but not once am i going to go to muslims and just pick fights with them like that if i ever went to preach outside of a mosque i'd be giving them the gospel again where there's not been one bible verse being being presented by Reuben Israel in this entire rant that he's doing. He is, he is serving the lust of his father, Satan. Let me show you that the lust of the flesh. Okay, Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, like we're seeing in that video, strife, seditions, heresies, just like his false Roman Catholic workspace gospel, Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. This is obviously speaking to saved people. But of course, Reuben Israel, Rich Pinkowski, all these other devils, they almost, they're almost certainly not saved. They're lost. They're, they're as lost as these Muslims out there. But this these fruits of the Spirit, I mean, that Muslim guy was displaying more you know, kindness and meekness towards Reuben Israel than, this, than Reuben Israel was to him. You know, again, perfect opportunity to give him the gospel, but never does. Because he is fulfilling a psychological operation from his Luciferian masters. Okay, let me show you some more scripture on the issue. Let me show you some more, just to hone down the point that these people are not Bible believers. They are certainly American Christians, but they're no Bible-believing Christians, that's for sure. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24 to 26. And the servant of the Lord... Uh, I saw my cat for a second. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God preventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. That's the proper way you preach to sinners, in meekness and with compassion and with, you know, uh, calmness. You want to get them, you want to help them get out of the snare of the devil. You want God to give them repentance so they can recover out of the snare of the devil. What Reuben Israel is doing is not that. It is just a bunch of arrogance and, and nastiness 
that is only going to bring reproach upon the body of Christ. That's a good scripture that should rebuke, serve, serve as a rebuke to Reuben Israel. Now let me show you how Jesus Christ would deal with religious Pharisees like Reuben Israel. Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 to 4. Then speak, so, so I want to show you something here. Notice how when Jesus Christ is speaking to the just average unbelievers, notice his calmness and humbleness. But then when he speaks to the Pharisees, notice how he switches and is more aggressive. Okay, keep that in mind. Oops, get my mic. Uh, Matthew chapter 23, verse 1 to 4. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you to observe, that observe and do. But uh, do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Okay, and look at verse 5. But all their works they do, for to be seen of men, they make broad of uh, their uh, palacre trees, hope I'm saying that word right, and enlarge the borders of their garments, uh, and love utmost rooms of feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogue, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, ma Rabbi. Okay, these street preachers, they want to be seen of men. That's why they boast all the time, well, we got drag queen story hour shut down. We, we went outside and rebuked the Muslims at the mosque. We went to the Catholic convention and were basically railing on them. We did this. We, we, look at me, look what I'm doing. You know, they are trying to glorify themselves. So that's Jesus Christ describing these wicked devils in this passage. So that's Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 to 7. Now notice how he's very calm and meek towards these people. Why? Because they're just average, you know, sinners. They don't know any better. Now watch as Jesus Christ, watch as he starts speaking to the Pharisees. So first, first part of this passage, he's speaking to average lost sinners. Okay, he's very calm and meek. Now watch as he's now dealing with the Pharisees. Watch how he gets. Matthew chapter 23, verse 13 to 15. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and make pretense, uh, pre pretense uh, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore, therefore you shall receive, let me show you full screen, you shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you compass the sea and land about, and make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. And look what it says in verse 16. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the by gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. Okay, so notice how he is speaking very meek with meekness and humbleness toward sorry meekness and gentleness and with humility towards the average lost sinners okay because they don't know any better but then when the pharisees come and try to pick a fight with them notice how he gets very militant and starts rebuking them okay that's the proper way you, you preach to the lost sinners you're meek you have gentleness towards them trying to get them to come to repentance with that god would give them repentance but when we're dealing with with the wicked pharisees like reuben israel yeah i'm going to be hard on them i'm going to be i'm going to be sharply rebuking him because he is not just your average lost sinner. He is a servant of Satan who is going out trying to make a, trying to do damage to the body of Christ. Just like the Pharisees were. So don't be deceived by this wicked devil, Reuben Israel. And don't be deceived by his, his uh, street papist cult that he runs. And anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.